Hi guys, my name is Tabby Tabby. I'm gonna show you that and welcome back to my vlog. Uh, it's been a long break of more than two weeks, but in the meanwhile, I was working hard to make you my very first time lapse video of uh, an illustration that no one has seen yet. So, it's gonna be the first ones. And this is an illustration, uh, a song illustration for Born of the Holocene. It's one of my favorite songs ever. So this is very precious to me and I'm very excited to share the whole um, digital uh, painting process with you. So let's jump into it. Right, so this is my very first ever time lapse video. And I had to speed it up 24 times just to squeeze those uh, four and a bit hours into, into just over 10 minute time lapse, which is crazy. Um, and um, not all of the segments of the, my process were recorded because sometimes my laptop would crash uh, mid-work or something or the so like the recording software would crash and wouldn't save and obviously I wouldn't want to go back and do it all over again just for the recording purposes so I had to just leave it there but I think um, from this oh, just over 10 minutes time lapse video can get quite a good taste of what my creative process looks like on Photoshop. And what I wanted to do with this illustration is I layered up three or four uh, pencil drawings, just like in a previous one with a song illustration by the River People. Um, and the reason I'm doing it is because I tend to use a clipping mask quite a lot, which is um, adding the color within the lines, basically. So you scan in your pencil drawing, you take out all of the white uh, space, so you have only transparency and black line art. Um, and then if you create a layer above the line art one, and right click on uh, the create clipping mask, then you can just use the brush tool and color within those lines without touching any of the outside air, which is great. When I, when I uh, learned about that. It was a revolutionary ever since because I um, was trying to do that for a while but in very clumsy ways and then my course mate Sarah she told me about that and it was just ch changed the game for me completely. And by the way check Sarah Julia Campbell out. She's a brilliant artist um, she was studying with me and if you like uh, sci-fi fantasy adventure type of illustration she's she's brilliant for that check her out I'm gonna leave a link down below to her website and social media so yeah so with this one quite a lot of uh, clipping masks and you can see that I already uh, covered the lines with green for the floral patterns and made the mountains a bit blue so it has a it's, it's taken a bit of shape and even though I haven't pre-planned the color palette for this drawing, I sort of worked it out a bit. It's always, it's always, it always looks very nasty at the beginning of the process. It looks like a very uh, clumsy drawing, clumsy blocks of color and everything. And I just love to see the way it's uh, taking shape and, and getting better. And you can see here that what I was trying to do with this one was to concentrate the lightest bits into the center into this like flow uh, like circle of light and then go dark and darker towards the edges so this like floral pattern floral shapes are framing the composition and are the darkest bits in, in the whole illustration so I was trying to keep that but still create some depth within uh, the plants so they don't look like just one layer of plants juxtaposed around this mountain um, silhouette but rather be like layers and, and different levels in which they are placed. Um, then I also wanted to create a bit of a soft light, a bit more of a warmer color in the center just to make it more twilight-like. So some of the light that's coming out of the center would also reflect on the mountains a bit. As you can see I'm putting a bit of a pinkish sort of maybe purple uh, over over the mountains um, and what I did there was just to, to introduce another tone of color into the composition because I didn't want to make it just all uh, cold um, and sort of wintry almost I wanted to make it more look more subtle like romantic 
uh, Twilight Tea um, filtered and that's what, what I did and yeah uh, it, it's the first time lapse ever made and it's just nice to see for myself the way I work up to the result that I want because I, I haven't planned the way it will look like it will look the color wise beforehand but I'm quite happy with the way it turned out um, and I always feel like there's always this a uh, period in the in the creative process of illustration where I just feel lost and like I don't know what what I'm going for. And I think this one ran quite smoothly, and even though I didn't know the colors beforehand, I sort of worked them out. And it's a song illustration. It's a song lyric illustration of um, Bonnevere's Hollow Scene, which is one of my favorite songs ever. And the line that says what. And at once I knew I was not magnificent, is what I was trying to interpret here. So I have this like superhero figure in the center falling down from the sky in his like superhero suit and has a tiny M on his chest and sort of to signify that um, someone who thought of himself as a superhero, maybe even had superhero powers, is sort of falling down. Um, crashing and, and falling and not being that you know superhero anymore and sort of failing which is a metaphor of human uh, condition and human um, limits and stuff that is um, which is okay to have which is means that you know we're temporary and we're um, we're here just for a while and we can't do everything and it's fine, we can be um, superheroes for everyone and all the time and we make mistakes and I just love that line um, although I, I have quite a connection with it although I'm, I may not be articulate enough to <laughs> communicate it well to you but I just wanted to do that illustration for quite a while and it looks quite different than what I had before, like the first f the first version of it that was never finished I have it on my Instagram and on Facebook and quite a few people liked it so I hope they're gonna like this one as well because it's quite different it has a quite a different mood to it so I'm, I'm excited and and unsure what they're gonna think about it but this one I like much better, it has much more natural colors much more muted down tones which I'm all for uh, because I, I used to go with very punchy colors and very um, vibrant scenes um, so and I wanted to play around more with just uh, muted down natural colors I love the Japanese traditional art so much and I'm, I'm, I'm taking quite a, an inspiration from it so I thought I would play around with that you can see from uh, like my recent work that is much more muted down than what it used to be what was my picture book on in the black hole uh, that was my final uh, project uh, in uni and yeah so this is different um, and I reworked the layer I was struggling with this layer of floral patterns a bit because I wanted to create some depth um, to show that the plants are in different levels that they all um, that they're all uh, not just one layer of plants but rather thing, the, the line work is sort of the highlights of the floral pattern and there's some more behind them so I was struggling with that a bit but uh, through m this mix of uh, very greenish green and more uh, muted down greyish green Sort of bluish, a combo bet between green and blue to create different intensities of color so the plants don't look that flat because they were creating a frame for the whole composition. So I didn't want to just make them flat and as if they're all in the same uh, depth. So that, that, that was a bit of a challenge as well. And so with this composition, I wanted to make it, I wanted to experiment with different viewing angles because I realized that I do quite a lot of straightforward compositions when things are just in front of a viewer and it's all sort of the skies and the top and the, the 
the ground is in the bottom type of scene so I wanted to make it a, a different viewpoint of, uh, so it's just so I practice different viewing angles I improve my compositional skills because there's so much more you can do if you change your viewing angles a bit I, and I found this one quite interesting because uh, it's as if you're looking from underneath the water from like the bottom of the lake or something and this thing uh, this figure is falling out of the sky and it's either the sun that is behind the figure or the, the light is coming out of a figure as well and it was a, a bit of a challenge to work on a figure as well because uh, because it's such a high contrast that bit like very dark silhouette and very a uh, light circle around it I had to make it a bit blurry so it doesn't look like it's just copy pasted into the composition and it's like not over sharpened but I think it works quite well in the end so so yeah so that's that's finished piece I made a bit of tweaks as well but that's all I guess um, I hope you enjoy guys I hope you like the final thing guys I would like to announce a giveaway uh, and give one of you this uh, new illustration of mine the Holocene by Bon um, a large print of a free size 29.7 by 42 um, and to enter it please comment down your favorite song lyric ever it can be just one line or a verse or like a couple of lines um, and if you like you can just tell me why as well I'm gonna announce the winner in my next video make sure to subscribe because this is for subscribers only and see you in the next video guys bye